looking at number two we're jumping right in and uh, number two is just selecting we don't have to do any explanations all we have to do is select all that are proportional well we proved on Monday's lesson that the area of a square since it has an exponent in it like when you find area of a square it's uh, length times width or the side squared that's not going to have a proportional relationship because it has an exponent. We saw the graph of it, it looked kind of like this when we graphed it on Monday. So we know it's not proportional. Perimeter, we just saw that it is proportional. It had a constant of 2.8, which we saw here. So that one's good. We know that one's true. The question here is does side length and diagonal have a relationship? So is there a relationship between the 9 and the 6.3? That's kind of the question here. Well, uh, we could uh, try out another square and see if it works. So let's just make up a number four square. Let's say that a diagonal is uh, five. If it's five, we would multiply it by 2.8. Five times 2.8 gives us 14. So that means the, the perimeter would be 14. And then we would have to divide that by four to get what each side length was. And that would be 3.5. So if the diagonal is 5, then the side length is 3.5. Now to check for proportionality, all we have to do is divide the pairs of diagonals and sides that we have, which are these right here. And if it's the same number to multiply to get over, then we know that it's a proportional relationship. So I'm going to do uh, 6.3 divided by 9 and uh, 3.5 divided by 5. And for both of them, I get 0.7. So what that tells me times 0 0.7, it tells me that there's a relationship here between these. If I know the diagonal, I can multiply by 0.7, and there's a relationship there. So I will circle it. And that is question number two.